What's up guys, it's Ophilly215 here and today I'm going to show you my personal Twixter settings that I think are the best and I will explain why. Okay, so first things first, drag your clip or whatever you want to Twixter onto the timeline and it would probably help if I enabled the video preview. Uh, let me see, where is it at? I got a pretty dirty quick scope, right? I can't tell if it's right here. No, it's not there. Just a second. Okay, so it's right here. So this is the uh, the clip that we're going to be twixtering. So I got a pretty nice quick scope right there. Um, I'll split the clip, drag it back to the beginning of the timeline. Okay, so if you don't know anything about Twixter. First things first, when you put Twixter on, you want to immediately always have your video preview on draft quarter because it will make your screen preview lag like a motherfucker. So just getting that out there first. Okay, so before I start even doing anything more, the other thing is I've learned a couple of tricks with Quickster or Quickster, Twixter, and um one thing is, is if you want to have a really smooth, uh, slow motion, um, there's a couple of tricks to the trade, like if you have a theater mode in whatever game you're playing, so let it be Halo, um, you know, anything, Call of Duty, um, you want to record with your capture card, if possible, in a format that's slowed down. So like in Call of Duty, if you could, like, uh, I don't know, drop the the frame or or however fast it plays, which I, I heard you can do, then when you slow it down, it'll be even slower and it'll look it'll look dirty. So what I mean is is I just got that quick scope, but this is the replay. So in the replay it's slowed down. So as you can see here, it's already slower than it was when I first did it. So that's what you could capitalize on and I've noticed that's why a lot of people have like really smooth, buttery slow motion in their, their, uh, kill cam. And it's because they're doing that. So let's get on to it. So obviously I'm not going to show you how to download Twixter. That's, uh, you know, search that on YouTube. I have my own preset for this. So you're going to copy everything that's going on here. Um, just copy all these settings. All right. Like, I mean, down to the T. Like, this is important this uh, BG motion sense and I'm gonna show you why when I start to twixter this okay so I'm gonna find where I wanted to just start twixtering which I would say about right there looks good so I'm gonna bring this uh, preview screen a little bit down so I could add a keyframe so you're gonna wanna add a keyframe wherever you want you know, this to start, make sure the keyframe is on a hundred percent. So that's like normal speed. So when you add the keyframe, you're going to want to just literally click on it and press right on your arrow key just one time. And then you want to hit whatever speed you want it to be at. So my clip that I recorded right over here is at 59.938, uh, you know, um, frames per second or, or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. Um, so you it should always be on that my capture card immediately records it at 60 frames per second um but usually like people will dumb it down to 30 because of youtube but i don't do that because if you want good slow motion y you should just you know bring your clip into the timeline at 59 you know frames per second 60 whatever and then when you render it do it in 30 so that you still get the buttery slow motion but it's still youtube ready so, now that it's at um, where I want it to be, I'm going to add 3%. So, if you're on 60 frames per second, do 3%. But if you're on 30, I would suggest 8. 8 looks good. Um, you can maybe get away with 7. I don't know. I, I think the lower you go at the, the lower frames, it doesn't look as good. So, there you go. If you didn't notice, it was a slight change. And that's because I added that keyframe. So now in the video preview, it's going to go real nice and buttery. So you just want to go a little bit because I want it to look nice and 
sexy, I guess. So you're going to add another keyframe at three. So what's that doing is you just did 103. So now it's going to spread all the way out to your next keyframe. So you don't want to do 100 again because then it's going to slowly get not as slow, if that makes sense. You want it to maintain the same slow motion through the whole thing. So you want to add that 3% uh, keyframe and then bring it back to 100. So then it's going to go back to normal and you're going to want to move it over just slightly uh, on your timeline, add another keyframe and then do the same exact thing, bring it over and then 3% again and just bring it out a tiny bit. I like it right there and then we could end it again. So now I'm going to show you what I mean by that BG motion sense. Um, right now it's on 60.54 and I'm going to show you, I don't even want to play it because it might be a little laggy. Um, all right, right here is a good chance to show you. All right, so as you can see, as I'm moving the frames, it looks nice and smooth. Like, it doesn't look all all types of bad. Like, I, I don't really know how to explain it, but it looks nice and buttery. It looks smooth. If you take off that BG motion sense or you do it, if you do it too high, there's going to be warping. And what that is, is right around your sniper scope, it's going to distort the picture. So, like... It kind of already does that now, but it does it just enough that you don't notice it, but it gives you that smoothness. If you distort it too much, it's going to look like there's like this crazy shit around your sniper scope, and it's going to distort shit. But if you were to bring it down too low, let's say to like 10 or something, now we're going to go back to the timeline, and as you can see, like, hold up, right right there like I don't know if you could see this but it looks all choppy right here and it's just not smooth like the the picture looks oh, see right there as it's coming through the frames it looks really choppy and it doesn't it doesn't go well like it just doesn't look good right here but then obviously when you add back in how much it was like back up at 60.54 it looks better. I mean, it doesn't fully, full-blown take it away, but just just trust me on this. You got to remember, it's on draft quarter, so it's going to look like shit, but, you know, when you bring it back to what it should look like in a second when it fucking renders out, it, it's going to look good, so just trust me on this. So you want to make sure that your uh, BG motion sense is on that. You want to make sure that all this stuff is checked and the way that mine is, guys. So there you go, that's, these are pretty much my Twixter settings, and um, yeah, uh, like I said, for 60 frames, it would be 3% slowing it down, um, and I, for 30, I would kind of suggest 7 or 8 um, for the percentage, and obviously then you could do whatever you want with it, uh, I have my own little thing here, I got my own song that I would like to bring into this. So obviously, let's see, right around here I'd want it. So I'm going to pre-render this out, and this should be what you've seen at the beginning of this video. So right, right there looks good. So Shift-B will then pre-render that out when you drag your cursor across the top of the screen. And it'll pretty much... Pre-rendering is good for like maybe if, it, not necessarily if it's on draft quarter, but if it's on like preview half and your preview thing, um, it'll just make it smooth as shit. So just give it a sec, let it pre-render out, and we'll see what we're dealing with here. But it should be everything that I asked for. It might be a little loud though, guys, so excuse that if it's loud. All right, so it's getting close. <laughs> and should be done now. All right, so this is what it should be. I, I hope it's good.
Alright, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave any comments, questions, anything like that if, you know, you know, if you have any questions, anything. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like. It really helps me out. It helps other people find the video. And, um, yeah, guys, as always, it's Philly 215 Make sure you click the watermark. It'll take you straight to my channel where you could then subscribe. Uh, or you could just click the subscribe button at the end of the video. Alright, guys, it's Philly 215 Peace!